peace, family. It was a quick video. This video is going into not how we are the indigenous, which the knowledge has come about how we are the original people of the Americas, but my personal family, my lineage. Okay, it's important for us to know our ancestry, who we are. All right, you can get more information about that all over the internet now, how we are the original people of the Americas. Okay, you had much proof now, more than ever. This is an Italian explorer who, when, came he, when he came here, he saw black people here, like Africans. He depicted them as, okay. We are the American aboriginals, not Indians, but the original people of the Americas. This is my tribe, the Piscataqua, through my grandmother's line, out of Merlin, Prince George County, Tompkinsville, Merlin area. This is the Chesapeake Bay, which is right near where my grandmother and my ancestors once lived. This is a picture of my grandmother, my grandmother, Jenny Smallwood. She was an Indian or Aboriginal American. Okay, here she is tending her garden outside in front of her home in Prince George County, Tompkinsville, Merlin, right off the Chesapeake. This is me and my grandmother at the age of 10. Okay, back then. Look at my grandmother's features. She was not African, nor was her sister. This is an old picture of her sister. I never knew who she was. She had passed away probably before I was born. And here is her other sister, Nelma. She also, of course, was of the lineage of the Piscataqua. Here's the Piscataqua again, Merlin. This is the grave site which I recently visited of my grandmother. Okay, which you can see from inside the church, because it's a churchyard, you can see the Chesapeake Bay outside the windows. The church is up on a hill. You can look out and see. Now inside the church, interestingly enough, you see a picture of an Indian. You can see the stained glass on the side. And what it is is that the population was saturated, okay, with Piscataqua Indians. And the church, well, the white settlers came in and established churches, the Jesuits, as it says here. You know, it says Father Andrew selected this site close to the local Native American communities. Okay, this was Grandma's church. Okay, they can, she converted to Christianity. Some kept their culture, but eventually the culture was lost and they integrated into Christianity, such as many others have. All right, here's some Piscataqua here. Now, this is my grandmother's, on my, on my father's side, Marie Gilliam, okay, who was a Cherokee, which she told me when I was young. And this woman here, her name, interesting enough, is Gilliam. Don't know if she's in relation to us, but she is an Indian chief. This is... Jennifer Gilliam, who is my cousin's daughter. Right, she
she's from the South Carolina Augusta area. Okay, you can see the features she has. She's cheekbones. You can just see she has Indian in her or Aboriginal in her. Piscatawa again. Piscatawa of Merlin again. Okay. Now, this is my daughter, Uja, and her two children. Okay. These are neighbors in Sparta, Georgia. They're from the Yamasi tribe. Okay, that's where the Yamasi dwell down in Sparta area, Georgia. Okay. woman here was a Piscatawa, you know, as well. Now they depict, they tell you in Twilight series, these are black women, black indigenous women. Okay. I'll tell you right there. So we're waking up, you know, to who we are. And with this awakening, we should pursue our Aboriginal, indigenous heritage, okay. Whatever tribe or whatever part of the country that you're from, okay. But it is just many tribes, you know. I just was fortunate enough to get to know what my lineage was. See how they use the bird. These are Indians in South America, black people, okay. We are powerful people, we are great people, but they remove a lot of our culture and heritage away from us. And we should always acknowledge where we come from and honor our ancestors, honor the great people that we once were. You had men such as this who purposely taught the out of Africa theory which is false, Charles Darwin, Francis Galt, Thomas Huckley, whatever his name is, and others. We were systematically changed from Indian to colored to Negro to Black American to African American. This man started that, Walter Plecker, who started us uh, taking Indian away and calling us colored people, okay? This was systematically done to remove us from who we are. But now we have woken up to that reality. So, check your lineage and check your past. We are not all Africans. <laughs>